So we have Snake Eye versus Kashira. And then. Okay. Uh, can't tell who's going first. Looks like they're just looking around at everything. Talking to a judge, maybe? Maybe it hasn't started. Okay, okay, yeah, they didn't roll their hand. Okay, normal summon that Snake Eye Ash. Effect, Chain Imperm. Sure, I see Bonfire. Oh, their hand would have sucked going second. They have Flame Burge, Poplar, Oak, Ash, Bonfire. Now they're going to go Bonfire, search Poplar, summon Poplar. Poplar effect goes search. And then, does that go through? Or does that get stopped? Moonlit. Yeah, they're not playing. Yeah, they have Oak, Flame Burge, Poplar in hand. They got Double Hand Trap. The opponent doesn't even have a Fire in their graveyard. No Ash Blossom. So, I mean, they could go SP. At this point in the regional, you're getting to the point to where, like, you're, you're starting to know what most of your opponents are playing. Like, almost guaranteed. You've sat next to a lot of these players. You're talking to your friends about what they're playing. Before the round starts, you're showing them, you're going online parents, you're like, hey, bro, you know what this guy's playing? You know what this guy's playing? You know what I mean? You're doing all that. They're making Poplar lose damage off Moonlit. Poplar spell traps on itself. And then go ahead and make SP. And then SP effect, banish Moonlit chill out of their graveyard. Sure. That is fine. And then pass. Uh, maybe Curry Car in hand. The opponent? Nah, there's no shot. Nah, 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 nah. If Cash Tier and Index Curry Car, they're an animal. If they play Curry Car at all, I guess they're kind of an animal, but main deck and it's like crazy. Special summon out Fenrir. Yeah, that deals with SP very well. They could just go battle. Oh, okay. Normal summon out Bell. So we're setting up a Baron and then Birth. So Birth gonna go ahead and summon back out the Fenrir and then that can grab Rise. It's not game if that's what the play is though. Wait, uh, that's not game, yeah. Summon out Baron, activate Birth. Okay. Hey, shout out to Squiddy for the follow. What's up, what's up? Uh, said no Snake Eye player? No, nah, Snake Eye doesn't have Curry Carter on hand. They, they have Flame Burge, Oak, Poplar in hand right now. No hand traps, no going second cards, nothing like that. Uh, they went first and drew five engine. The opponent was just a, able to double hand trap them and stop them. Though. But yeah, they're going to burst summon out Fenrir. Oh, okay, now they just go battle phase attack. Sure, sure. Fenrir attack, effect banish Poplar face down. We still have Fenrir search in main phase two. And then that can grab Ryzeheart. Ryzeheart could go for Shang. Just to Shang bring out. Just to have that on field if we want it. Uh, when is Fenrir going to one? Actually, I, I don't I don't want Fenrir to be hit. Not not at least now, to be honest. This is fine. This was at my locals, but I had to miss it. Was so not Pog. Rip. Oh, this was at our locals? Well, I guess regionals. Yeah, never mind, never mind, never mind. I guess regionals get held at locals all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Banish birth, banish three face down. But that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. I feel it though. There was a one there was a tournament I wanted to go to, but it's the same weekend as something else. So I wasn't able to go to it. Or I'm not able to go to it. Mad unfortunate. They're gonna go overlay now. Yup. Make harmonizer. Okay, okay. So it doesn't I don't know. I kind of like make Shang. Shang bring out Fenrir. You have Birth set up to go banish. But I guess you can go Harmonizer and then Harmonizer effect to go ahead steal from the opponent's graveyard. Uh, they might even take Link Karibo if they have a Valor in hand. Uh, Firestorm Games in Cardiff, South Wales was the location. I don't know any of that stuff that you said. I'm, I'm assuming South. I mean, I know it's in UK. I know it's in UK. I know it's there. But, oh, draws one for one. Wait a second. Wait a second. They don't have Poplar in deck. They only have Snake Eye Ash in deck. But that's good, though. One for one can discard Flame Burge. 
Um, oak doesn't work. So we have the poplar. Yeah, summon poplar, poplar effect. They don't have Valor in hand, otherwise Harmonizer would have taken Link Karibo. They do have Baron. And do you want to bear in the pop lore? They do bear in the pop lore. Okay. And then... Wait, they did take Link Karibo. Oh. Wait. Uh, okay. I guess it prevents the body. One for one discard flame burge. Sure, that's fine. They go summon out Snake Eye, Ash. And then now they can go Snake Eye, Ash, one, Flame Burge, two. And then they go Chain Link, three, Harmonizer. Go take a level one out of the opponent's graveyard. So that way Flame Burge doesn't resolve. And then Snake Eye, Ash won't be able to search Poplar. Do they play Birch? Birch might be pretty good. Birch might be pretty good. Yeah. So, Harmonizer, go take. I mean, you're taking for sure, without a doubt. Uh, why did he stop Poplar? Isn't it, like, the worst normal summon in this position? I'm not 100% sure why they stopped Poplar. Yeah, they could have waited until, like, original, I guess. But... It's, like, fine. It's fine. Also, it's not the worst normal summon. Actually, Poplar was the best normal summon out of all the Snake Eyes. Because Oak's completely dead. Snake Eye Ash is just searching up blank because they don't have Poplar in deck. Uh, why not chain Birth there on the Reza 1 for 1? Uh, they don't have any Cash Chiros on the field. Yeah, they, they took all their Cash Chiros away. Uh, okay, so now they're going to go... Link Karibo. Wait. Wait, wait, hold on. That just, hold on, hold on. I was reading chat for a second. Did I just mess up? Did they just search Poplar? They did search Poplar. They played three Poplar in their deck. Okay, okay. So they played the triple Poplar technique. Also, I want to read something real quick just to make sure I don't mess it up before I say it. God, I hate trying to find cards without using DB. Here we go. I'm just going to look it up on DB. Oh, my God. Here we go. Hold on. I'm going to look it up. It's so much easier to look up cards on DB. You can just, like, type in everything that works with it in, like, two seconds. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, this is just not looking good for them. They don't have... Wait. Well, they got the Flame Burge out, but... Okay, no, this is looking good for them. This is game. Yeah, this is just game. They put the fire in Graveyard by doing that too, which means they can go for Hita into Princess, into Princess Special Summon back out. And then... They still have Oak stuck in their hand, though. Which is unfortunate. I don't, wait, I don't think it's going to be game. It's going to be... It's, it's not, yeah, it's not game. It's kind of close, though. But close doesn't really matter. So now they're going to go Link Kribo, Flame Burge, Hita. They already used Flame Burge effect, otherwise that's like easily game. So then go take Cash Tier at Rise Heart. Mm-hmm. Make Princess. Might not even be Make Princess. Uh, it might be... Can't, can't make Selene. We don't... We haven't gone through Black Witch or Valor. So we can't access code. Pop Birth. I guess you'd also pop Baron, but you know, mainly just pop Birth. Okay, so they're gonna make Princess. And then Princess Effect Special Summon back out. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, can't he summon two for Flame Bridge or use that? No, they, they already used the 
and then the opponent interrupted it by using harmonizer so now yeah now it's a little bit tricky now princess summon back out i just don't think this does anything like anything crazy anything crazy because they're probably playing peer seems like everybody's playing peer at this regional yeah they have formula on their extra deck yup very surprised we haven't seen fire king yet fire king also just seems like infinitely better for a regional on top of like it already being a very good deck You're not gonna crash, right? Because then Princess doesn't go. Yeah, 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 I was gonna say, don't crash. So, Link off, make Raging Phoenix. Then make World Sea. It just seems bad because they still have Birth. <laughs> Kieran's just broken versus Rogue. Yeah. Yeah, World Sea effect, banish, summon Baron back face down so that we can beat over it, but then they still have Birth. So, it's like problem not solved. Uh, uh, said this event, the finals. Hey, well, don't, don't, don't leak. Don't leak. Okay, so they just beat over Baron. This is game. Yeah, nice. <laughs> nice. We did all that just to lose. Birth effect, summon back out, go for Fenrir. Yeah, they just submit the feet. That's what I don't get. Why do, why do players spend five minutes right there? when they know they can't win and then the second they pass turn they admit defeat it's like you knew how this was gonna go you weren't randomly just gonna be given an extra body but okay next one said was that punished for not running access code uh well they they, they couldn't make access code anyways the Celine when it worked they don't they don't have a spellcaster in grave uh i don't i doubt they play whale either otherwise they, they definitely would have made whale 100 percent they're they're playing pure Okay, but this hand, they have Black Witch, Talons. Oh, Black Witch, Black Witch, Wanted, Talons, Oak. Imperm? Ah! 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 Okay, normal summon out, Oak. <laughs> that hurts. That hurts to see Imperm there, I'm not gonna lie. But, Ash on the Oak, now we have the Talons draw. Nah, you're lying to me right now. We were fine there. We could have still brought out Snake Eye Ash, gone for Poplar. We peep the hand? Okay, okay, okay. I guess this might be more proper, but like... Bro, this feels so bad. That's just game. That's just game. That's just game. We hit Unicorn, they have Fenrir, Pot of Prosperity. So, like, even if they're not ending the game, bare minimum, they're gonna set up pretty good here. Yeah, activate Pot of Prosperity, go ahead, banish, look at the top six, hit Unicorn, Pressured Planet, Terraforming, Birth, any of those cards, Deosis. There's a lot. There's a lot to hit off that. One for one question mark. I mean, I mean, like, the, the Snake Eye player had Bonfire to hit. They had one for one to hit. They definitely had, they also had some combination of cards that could work. And there's Pressured Planet. Yep, grab that. Put the rest back to the bottom. Nothing on res. Pressured Planet. Unicorn. Unicorn. Birth. Normal summon out. Fenrir. Fenrir search. Uh, isn't Fire King stronger than Pure Snake Eye? Uh, I think so, yes. I, I think the Fire King build is slightly better than the Snake Eye, like the Pure Snake Eye build. So, Unicorn, go search Birth, activate Birth, especially for a regional. Like, for a regional, 100%. Uh, I could have topped, like, one for one bonfire and hand traps to protect himself. But now they're gonna go. Yeah, normal out Fenrir effect, go search. It's just game. Well, not battle phase game, but they're gonna get way too far ahead. Cash player looks too smug. I would too, I'm not gonna cap. I hit my opponent with Imperm, Ash, they go Talents, look at the hand, and then they go past turn. I go Pot of Prosperity, Pressured Planet. 
I'm going to be hitting a little rock back forward in my chair. I'm going to just be looking at him like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Response, response, and no. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Oh, they have Kashira Ogre in their deck going a second. Boo, never mind. Isn't Fire King deck less bricky than Pure Snake Eye? Uh, no. No, not really. Like, like technically you have like Island Sanctuary that can help out. But, I don't know. It also, you, you can get some, you get a lot of weird hands in Fire Kings. Like, not, oh, not a lot, but you can get some weird hands in Fire Kings. Where like... You just have, like, the Fire King bodies that aren't doing very much. But okay, Unicorn Effect's gonna go rip. They rip World Sea from their extra deck. Which I don't get why they didn't rip Princess. I much prefer ripping Princess over World Sea. It's not bad, though. Ripping World Sea, because they have, like, World Sea Nightmare Phoenix. But it's also harder to get to World Sea Nightmare Phoenix when uh, Princess is hit. Not the extra deck. Uh, nine rounds today. Yeah, nine rounds. Or Raging, right? Nah, I wouldn't hit Raging. I'm fine with Raging being there. I just, I, I don't know. I like hitting Princess. I always see people hit World C, though. Especially because we're going to be, like, we're going to have another Unicorn rip, too. But okay, they're going to go Cash Tira, Ogre Effect. Choose the opponent's top deck. Yeah. Okay, so places them out. What is going on? <laughs> I know we're resolving Kashira Ogre, but why are we doing it like this? Okay. Isn't Ogre public? Yeah. It is indeed public. So they're gonna go ahead banish. Okay, so then Yeah, they pretty much they get to know what the top deck is. They chose the opponent's top deck there. I'm confused yeah, okay, there we go, yep, shows the card, sure, 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 sure. Okay. So we're gonna banish Snake Eye Ash face down. Bonfire to top first, then Poplar. Yeah, yeah, okay, yep, yep, yep. Top Poplar to top is pretty much what it means. And then they're gonna go ahead, just attack with everything. Okay, sick. Pack is playing uh, Pearly's Cash on Master Duel. What about you? Uh, I am going over the UK Open Regional that's going on. This is round eight. We got Cash Tiro versus Snake Eye, Robert A versus Michael G. Looking good for Cash here. They just pass turn. They don't want to play in the rock. I can respect that, especially when you know your opponent's top deck is Poplar. Uh, so we have Fenrir that's going to be good against the Poplar. And they have Birth. Birth's also going to be good against like the Wanted and Graveyard, preventing that from getting the draw. So normal summon out Poplar, Poplar effect to go search, grab out the original. It's actually going to be a interesting scenario though, because we know that they have Black Witch in hand. And the opponent probably assumes the last card in hand is like a non-engine card... Yeah, so, or something, something like that. Maybe another Talons. Maybe they think it's another Talons. Wait, they, they just searched Divine Temple? Okay, so now they're going to go... I couldn't see which effects they were using there exactly, but they definitely are activating Kashira Ogre effect to rip the top five, or rip from the top five. They hit nothing. Sick. Okay, sure, so hit Wanted. Yeah, put the rest back. Uh, he also has another Talents, right? No, nah, it's Black Witch. So then Unicorn, go ahead, rip from the extra. Please rip Princess. Okay, I guess just hits both the cards that, like, help OTK. World C access code. But man, I'm hitting Princess. Princess is broken. Princess is broken. 
Activate Divine Temple. Divine Temple, go ahead. Spell Trap Zone from the deck. Sure. Um, then on res, we just birth. Birth Banish Wanted, Oak, Black Witch face down. Yeah. Effect. Banish, banish, banish. Definitely hit Black Witch because that prevents, uh, like, Selene summon back out. Yep, and there's enough spells for Selene to work otherwise, even if the Hounds is gone. So banish those face down. Oak being gone forever is tough. So now, how do they want to do this? They have summon Black Witch by sending a Fecko set original. They still have Fenrir live. So, Poplar, Link Karibo, Poplar, Spell Trap Zone, okay. And then send a special summon out Black Witch. And then Black Witch effect is set original. Yep, that's fine. No hand trap on that. I don't even know if Michael G has any cards in hand. But they're gonna go ahead and set original. They asked to read it. Uh, so they have the Fenrir effect here, but the thing is, Fenrir effect here doesn't feel very good, right? Because if you Fenrir target, I guess you have to target Flame, yeah, I was going to say, you have to target Flame Burge. And even then, like, the opponent's playing Peer, so they still have another Flame Burge that they can just go through anyhow. I guess this means they have to play in the rock. Uh, does it? Yeah, okay. I guess, yeah, they're gonna play in the rock, guaranteed. So, original, Sun Divine Temple, go ahead, summon out. Uh, Planet Pop only works if Chain Triggers. <clears throat> yep, yep. And add, I'm sick. I'm sick, I'm sick, I'm sick. Oh, um, that's... That's the one thing I don't like about Konami hosting streams on like 20 different channels is it makes it so you can't subscribe to them all. I guess technically I could get Twitch Turbo to prevent it. But you're right. Um, why can't I remember my cash tier effects? Is that ads question mark? Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't have ad blocker on this either. Cause I'm on a I'm on a different browser than I normally use. Since this browser takes up way less work, I guess eats up way less RAM. Better way to word it. DVG, you don't got YouTube Premium. I actually do have YouTube Premium, but this isn't on YouTube. It's on Twitch. Like uh, the music that we're listening to for the background music's on YouTube Premium. Otherwise, there'd be tons of ads. Okay, so they could go Hita, Hita take Ash Blossom, they have Snake Eye Ash, that, wait, you go, hmm, okay, yeah, Hita, Hita take Ash, sure, 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 they did rip World C and Access Code, so those are not of use to us at this point. Oh, uh, they're streaming on YouTube too. Fair, fair, fair. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a YouTube set up through this browser for the streams. But I don't think they were streaming the other one on YouTube though, because there's also the French one. They're gonna go Snake Eye Ashton, Self Plus Black Witch. Sure. Ah, uh, yeah. Bring out Flame Burge. Huh? Is it? Hmm, because we, we did have Baron set up if we wanted it, with Black Witch plus Ash. But that's just never right. Or is it? Or is it? Because there'd be wind, fire, water, earth. It's not enough attributes. I wanted to make it so that way Flame Burge could crash with Kashira Unicorn. And then Baron pop birth beat over fenrir and then flame burst spell trap zone cash ogre leave him with the cash rise heart on board 
while outing birth that sounds broken there have there has to be a way to get close to that or had to have been a way to get close to that at least i guess you could just be over unicorn nah because you don't want to link off baron ah it's tough but this is still fine though this is still really fine because now they can just yeah they can just go in the baron now and then yeah baron's able to go ahead and pop checking their banish face down yeah they could baron pop i think it has to no it doesn't have to be birth because we still have sp so we can still sp birth but i'm thinking that we also want to out pressured planet so that we can beat over more of the board I guess we could also just pop the Kashiro Ogre though, leave him with pressured planet so that way Sky Crisis isn't live. Yeah, yeah, probably, probably that's a little bit better. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure, for sure, a little bit better. So now Snake Eye Ash plus Selene, Link off, go summon out SP Little Guy. And then activate its effect. Go banish. Banish birth. That's good. And then... Pop lore, SP, princess, princess, special summon back out from the graveyard. They already spell trap zone this turn though. Onto Fenrir, so Flame Bridge won't have that extra effect. Mm-hmm. Bring out. And then... Yeah, now they're gonna go battle, beat over Unicorn. I guess they could beat over Unicorn plus Rise, just leave him with Ogre. Well, even with just Ogre seems a lot better, okay. Baron pop pressure to planet, sure. Yeah, beat over. Ogre. Unicorn. Yeah, I'm leaving him with one body no matter what. That's what we're doing. We're not getting rid of that cash tier of Rice Heart there. Unless that they actually have no cards in hand. If they have no cards in hand, then you win no matter what. Because you just make a Raging Phoenix. You don't even have to do anything. You win with Baron against no cards. But it would be nice to just like link off the Princess into Raging Phoenix. And then you have Princess Pop. Yeah. So now, oh, they just pass. Okay, so they don't even make the Raging Phoenix to put Princess in Graveyard, because I guess they just went off Baron anyways. But I would still, well, oh, no, this is okay. Flame Birds can't summon out Fenrir. Okay, just scoop. Just scoop. They're gonna go banish Baron Negate. They're on nothing. Yep. What? Look at the top three hit birth soul release unicorn okay they have to have a card in hand then they have to have a card in hand yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, i must have just been seeing it wrong also they said soul release against pure snake eye yeah interesting uh so grab out birth grab out unicorn Church, grabs that unicorn, puts back to the bottom. Oh, they do have another card in hand. Okay, okay, never mind. Yeah, I wouldn't stop that either. But wait. They really should have made Raging Phoenix if they had two cards in hand. That's a huge misplay, because you could have easily just popped that. Oh. If they lose this game after, like, popping off and breaking the whole field because they forgot to link off Princess, I'm going to be so sick. They can't. Thrust in the talents in the draw. Because they use Pot of Prosperity. They could go for Terraforming in the Pressured Planet into Fenrir. Into... Wow, uh, they didn't go through Theosis though. So Scareclaw Cash Chira can't banish to get access back to Birth. But I guess you can still get like a... Oh. I was gonna say we could still go for like big eye or something big eye we could go for sky crisis we can bounce flame birds back to hand but we go towns take baron 
Okay. Isn't it Fenrir in the Rise? Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely Fenrir in the Rise. I don't... They didn't go through terraforming. Why are they just doing this random Baron? And... We weren't supposed to beat over Princess. Because now we make Sky Crisis and they can Princess pop Sky Crisis and get Flame Burge effect. Yeah, they just submit the feet. Wow, that's so tough. Just stalling question mark? Nah, if they were stalling, they would have passed turn. Yeah, they definitely would have passed turn. Make the opponent get the extra 100 damage in and spend the time to go through battle phase and stuff. Wow, that... That's tough. Because they actually had that game there. The opponent, the opponent messed up. The opponent messed up, and they could have capitalized off of it and actually just won. The smile is gone. Yeah. But I mean, hey, I mean, fair enough. It is what it is. Okay, pressured planet. Right? Pressured planet most likely. Okay, yep, grab that, put back to the bottom. They do have draw and lock bird though. That's so cheese. I see, oh, I see lightning storm in the hand. Do they have a starter? They have bonfire. Are you kidding me? This snake eye player is just never punished. They hit, what was it? Impermanent what? It's probably like summon limit or something. That's just game. And they have Bonfire in hand. Oh my god. And the opponent has Pressured Planet in hand. Oh my god. Go grab out Poplar. Summon out Poplar. Poplar effect to go search. I'm pretty sure if he goes like Fenrir, summon, make Arma, Dragon, pop, ty pop, make Typhoon, Typhoon away the Dragon, Dragon pops the two other, and he games them. Um... I mean, they could go, like, Fenrir. Because the thing is, they can't make Sky Crisis once they pressured Planet. Well, I mean, they can make it. Uh, they can make it over Dark Arm, just so that way they can have a body that attacks. But it won't be able to bounce at that point. Um, but they could go, like, Fenrir in the Rise. Rise, Banish in the Birth. Birth in the Unicorn. Unicorn of the Theosis. Theosis in the Scareclaw. Cash Tira. I mean, at that point, it's probably just as simple as, like, making Big Eye, right? Because you can just go make Big Eye, Big Eye effect, attach, go take, take Baron, Baron effect. To pop. Nah, you probably don't pop Flame Burge. You probably, yeah. Yeah, you don't pop Flame Burge. You just make Sky Crisis on top. And then you could go battle, Fenrir, Banish, Flame Burge face down. It's gotta be game. There's gotta be a way for game. It's, it's very close. It's very close. I'd have to, like, repair the game state to see exactly what was there. But there's definitely a way to do it. Um. Well, actually, there's not a way to go for game. Never mind. You can't go for game, because they use Pot of Prosperity. But you can wipe out a lot and set up good follow-up. Oh, so they get hit with Bell there. That's fine. Oh, uh, he negated Unicorn Search, right? Oh, true, 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 true. They did indeed negate Unicorn Search. Yeah. But so, yeah, the Scarecrow Catch 2 won't even matter because I forgot about Pot of Prosperity there for a second, too. So they wouldn't be able to go for a game. But you can you can still do a lot. Uh, I forgot about Prosperity. Probably banished everything anyways. Nah, you definitely leave, like, Dark Arm. I mean, they had they had some left. I don't know. I don't know. Because I think they only banished three. So they only have banished 9 total, so they still had 6 in the extra deck, so that's still, like, everything that you need. Why didn't they whiteboard and go for good follow-up at DB Grinder? I don't know. <laughs> they wanted to lose the game? <laughs> I, I don't know how to answer that. They don't know how to... They, they forgot the Rust could search Terraforming. But make Princess, Princess effect, summon back out, Flame Bird, sure... And then, 
Okay, yep, game. Wow. 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 I saw they left uh, Big Eye in Extra Deck. Yeah, they definitely had all the good stuff in Extra Deck. Dark Arm, Big Eye, Sky Crisis, probably even a Shang. Like, those are all, maybe even SP. Those are probably all in there. 